hey what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have man this question is <laughs> bigger than my screen anyways so two identical dielectric spherical shells each of radius r carrying uniformly distributed charges plus q and minus q fixed intersecting each other with their centers at a separation of x naught which is less than capital r so basically their centers one center Oh, you can say that this gap is actually x naught. Okay, so this one is also x naught. Fine. A straight, thin, uncharged insulating rod is fixed along the line joining the centers of the shell, on which a small bead of mass small m and positive charge q can slide without friction. Okay, so there are four holes: one, two, three, and four. Okay. Uh, the hole made in the shells to pass through the rod and be so small effect of electric field does not change um, the rod is made of such a material that no charge accumulates on it so the rod is insulating as it was said earlier the bead is projected with an initial velocity u towards the shell okay initial velocity u is given it was far away from the shells as shown in the figure if the bead stops sliding on the rod okay the bead stops stop sorry stops somewhere while sliding on the rod where must it stop and what must be uh, the range of its initial velocity u okay to specify your answer assume center of the positively charged dielectric sphere as the origin of the coordinate system so the center of this sphere will be the coordinate system okay so i have already drawn the diagram to save you some time okay so as you can see that uh, this one is the positively charged sphere this one is the negatively charged sphere okay uh, just for uh, coming to the question let me just write down or draw the electric field how the variation of electric field will take place so in this region that means outside of the minus q charge and till in minus infinity the direction of the field on this line will be towards right okay because this one is a negative charge so electric field will be towards the negative charge here the charge is positive here the charge is negative so the field will be in this direction this area or this region is inside a thin spherical shell so we know that inside a thin spherical shell charged thin spherical shell uh, electric field is zero because the potential is constant in this region c to d the field direction would be in towards left because this here the positive charge is present and here it is negative and again from outside of plus q shell and till plus infinity the direction of field will be here uh, i have calculated few more things here as we know that the potential at infinity is zero potential at point a will be due to the negative charge and also due to the positively charged shell uh, the potential at point a uh, will be this one how because at point a due to the negative charge as it lies on the surface we have this term and due to this positive charge the distance from the center is r not plus x so the potential is this one fine final answer becomes this one okay you can do the calculation by yourself similarly i have found out the potential at point b here point b okay point b is basically the point on the positively charged shell similar situation potentials due to two charges or two shells equal and opposite it will be so the final potential will be zero because this point lies inside the minus q charge so that will give give a potential of minus ke q by the radius of the negatively charged shell that is r okay uh, you people are smart enough you can find these potentials by yourself these are basic high school electrostatics so at point c also the potential is zero now at point d this point d lies on the surface of plus q and lies outside of minus q so we'll just take the two values one will be ke q by r and one will be minus ke q by 
x naught plus r ok. So, the final result will give you this one. Now, if you see that the potential difference of inf at infinity minus potential difference uh, potential at point a is equal to the negative difference of a and b that is this one. So, what does this mean? This means that the increase in kinetic energy from infinity to a equals the decrease in kinetic energy from a to b. So, let us analyze the situation. When the particle was thrown from minus infinity with an initial velocity u, so there was some initial kinetic energy half m u square. Okay. Now, when the particle comes from minus infinity to point a, okay, there is some decrease in kinetic energy, increase in potential energy because there is some increase in uh, oops sorry. When the particle was coming from minus infinity to point A, there was some increase in kinetic energy and decrease in potential energy because the particle was moving in the direction of the field. Okay. Now, when the particle crosses point A and reaches till point B, what happens? There is some decrease in kinetic energy and increase in potential energy. Okay. Now, as we have calculated that this difference gives you the same value, but equal and opposite in nature. That means, that the decrease the amount of potential energy that has been decreased from minus infinity to a, the charge regains the same amount of potential energy from a to b. Okay. So, finally, when the charge particle comes out from this hole, there is no change in kinetic energy, the particle comes out with an speed which was initially given. Okay. So, particle comes out from the point B with the same initial velocity. So, of course, the particle will not stop in this region. Okay. So, the particle is moving with speed u again, does not matter with what speed you throw, the particle will never stop in this region. Okay. So, now the particle moves with same speed u, u, u. Again, the chances of the particle to stop must be at the region between c and d. Okay. So, the range of x where the charged particle will stop, this value is r minus x naught, okay, because this one is x naught. So, the value of x must lie between, must be, yeah, say, till point d this value is r. So, this is the range of x where the particle will stop. Okay. Now, what should be the value of u? The value of u must not be greater than some value. So, that I mean the particle should lie within c and d. So, the extreme most po position that the particle can reach will be point d. So, the kinetic energy of the particle okay, must be enough or actually must be less than this value, because here the kinetic energy is half m u square. Okay. So, half m u square, half m u square and if even if it loses the whole thing, it should lie before point d. So, here the potential difference is how much? If we find that we will get v c minus v d minus v c is equal to k e q x naught divided by fine. So, this is the potential difference. Okay. So, the kinetic energy must be less than q times v c d bound. Okay or V D C whatever you can write. So, half m u square must be less than 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught that is the value of K E capital Q small q x naught divided by r times r plus x naught. Okay. So, 2 gets cancelled out. So, the value of u must be less than 
capital Q small q x naught divided by 2 m r r plus x naught ok fine. Now, if the value is uh, greater than this one then it will go away from come outside from the point d or from the hole made at this point and it will never come at rest. So, the value of u must be less than this value ok. A slight increase in u uh, will not make it possible by this charge distribution to stop this charge ok. I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. If you are new to this channel please do subscribe and uh, please share this video with your friends and teachers. See you in the next one. Peace.